Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Arab and Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for mid-July. Now keep in mind, these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks and doing so it charges balances and aligns the energy for your reading and then i also meditate over the collective energy so again this reading is for aries sun moon rising and venus individuals and as always i hope everyone is doing well so when i was meditating over you guys energy the song that i heard was and i typically don't get rap songs for this but i, I picked up I, I immediately picked up what the message was um, Smoking Me Out by Warren G and Ron Isley. I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below if you so choose to listen to the song. But the message that I got is literally the smoke is being cleared for a lot of you guys. So if you were questioning some things about a person, you felt like something was being hidden, it's about to be exposed. And I'm, I'm picking that up very strongly. For a good deal of you all, you're getting ready to see a person for who they truly are. And for those, for others, it's like somebody was, I keep hearing smoke and mirrors. And you know, with smoke and mirrors, it's like things aren't what they appear. But then it's also something to the energy of somebody may have deeper feelings for you than you really, than they're really expressing. But the main message that I'm picking up, and I know this is a heavy message, but I'm just telling you what I pick up. Because I kept seeing in this deck multiple times the Six of Cups and then a Hermit card and then a lot of past energy. But more than anything, I feel like if you all are dating someone new, you may find out that this person already has a family. And they're not telling you about it. Because i also seen the Ten of Cups multiple times also. The Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. And you know, that would sound like a happily ever after thing. But I'm telling you, the message that I'm picking up over line is like, you guys, especially those of you who are dealing with someone new, this person may already have a family. And that's where the smoke and mirrors come in, where it's like they're showing you them as someone who's single. And once that smoke clears, you're going to find out something else. For others of you, I feel like you're going to find out um, there's a strong energy that you're going to find out some secrets that you've been feeling all along outside of this whole, you know, this person being in the family. This, this is for another group of people. You're going to find out some secrets with an ex. And for those of you who say you don't care about that, that's fine. But I'm, I'm telling you, for some of you guys, this will apply to it. And then also, I'm going to tell you another overlying energy. Because it, it was a lot of messages coming up with this. If you met this person, for some of you, this won't be for all of you. For some of you, this individual, you may find out that they were already in a family relationship. But some of you guys are going to find out that they left a family for you. That's for a small fraction of you all. But I did hear that also. But I also seen that Four of Cups. So I feel like when you find this information out, you're not going to be happy about it. And you're not going to accept this person's offer. Okay? So let's see. As always, you guys know there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. Both of the decks are completely upright. I'm changing the cards at the bottom. So we can get a different outcome. So you'll know that this isn't a biased, you know. I'm not choosing a story. You have the two of pentacles, and this is, you see, this was not at the bottom of the deck. So this is how I'm telling you. I know that this is the narrative for you guys. This person is juggling. Look at this. You have one ship back there. That's a new, that's a new relationship coming in. And then there's one going out. So like I just said a few minutes ago, for some of you guys, you may be this new ship. You are this new person coming in. And then, for, you know, they're leaving another relationship for you. And then for others, they're still juggling this other family that you have no clue about. This person may be a bit of a playboy or playgirl, because look at her face. She's smiling. She's enjoying this. And, you know, I will say I also seen um, the Magician card, and that's the card of Virgo. You do have pentacles. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, some moon rising Venus individual. Doesn't have to be. Just tossing it out there. So let's part the deck so we can see what additional messages. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. Literally, you got the hair font. The hair font is always a spouse. Always a spouse. And what's interesting is, look at that. That's the spouse. Ooh, wee. So you got the hair font, and then you have the high priestess. That's the spouse to the hair font. I'm telling you, for some of you guys, do some research and really do some digging on this person. Because this individual may already be married or in a long-term commitment and relationship. Also, this is more earth sign energy. This is a card of Taurus. This person could be married to a Pisces. Some moon rising Venus individual, but more than anything, the high priestess, I feel like some of you guys definitely felt all along that it was something that was missing. I always tell you guys, anytime I see cards with moons in it, she has a moon right here. 
on top of her hat, there's things unknown, things unseen, things that we don't have clarity about. And so some of you guys, you were, you see how she's praying and she's over like a Bible or some type of prayer book and she's meditating. I feel like for some of you guys, you really were like digging, either digging, reading text, because this makes me think about, it's interesting, it's a book, but for some of you guys, if you still entertain Facebook, I'm hearing that message like you may have seen messages on Facebook or some other social media platform. And for others, I feel like, you know, you may have just really sat down and thought about it and it just hit you like, I think this man is in a relationship. The high priestess and the hair fine is literally a couple. And I said that I feel like this person is already married. I'm going to see the next card. Yep. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And for those of you, if this person is married, they might have just recently had a baby or someone is pregnant because you have a rabbit right here. That always talks about fertility. And you see how she's holding this pentacle and it's like right by her stomach area. You can find out that this he had he or she or somebody has another family or this pr person could pers uh, possibly be pregnant. If you look at the next card that I see peeking out, mm, and I was getting ready to say this before I started, and I need to start doing that more often. I feel like Leo season is going to be busy for a lot of people, and this is going to get exposed during Leo season. You're going to see what I'm saying in a minute. You know, Page of Wands, you have a fire sign, a Leo Sage, or Aries, Summer Rising, Venus individual telling you about, you're going to find this out by this person. This person could be younger than you significantly. Pages are always messengers trying to keep this glare off so you guys can see the pictures this is someone who's a messenger like this page is always messengers they're going to come and give you some type of message i feel like this is not going to be expected again this is wands this is fire sign and look at the next card that's peeking out sun card again fire sign and this is the card of leo during leo season and again you see these babies here you could be finding out that somebody is pregnant or just recently had a baby or this person has two children and didn't tell you about it i'm telling you the smoke is just like the song smoking me out the smoke is getting clear on this situation because once the sun comes out you don't see those clouds not as visibly far and few between some of you guys are going to find this out during leo season that this person has children that you don't know about or there's a pregnancy that you don't know about there's something going on also you see how these babies are two different ethnicities so there could also be a question about paternity for someone also yeah and I feel like if you don't have a fire sign person coming in and telling you about this, this person could be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, a Venus person. Of course, this is the reading for Aries. So I feel like this could be your energy. And like I said, pages, that's communication coming in. Messengers. Some of you guys could find these messages yourself because you see how he's holding his wand. So some of you guys could find out on your own without someone else's assistance, okay? So at the bottom of your clarifying deck, <laughs> yeah, we got the same card again, the hair fine literally i mean yeah can't make this up so you got again one two three people in this card i feel like you're dealing with someone who's already in a relationship and if you don't know now you know i feel like now you know and you're getting ready to find it out this is the hair find is literally always someone who is already established this is a matriarch this is somebody who's a wise counsel this person could be significantly older than you also, you know, you looked at this person as someone very wise, and this was something that you were attracted to with this person. And then you come to find out that, you know, it was more than just you and this person involved. And this also is someone who presides over ceremonies, you know. So I feel like, again, this person may be married or they're recently divorced and they're not telling you about it. So let's part the cards. Look at that sun card again, fool card. Look, you have two major arcanas back to back. So you have the fool card, this is your card, Aries also Aquarius and then you got the Sun card again so I feel like for some of you guys you're gonna be moving forward with someone in Leo season or you could be moving away from someone during Leo season the card right before that mm -hmm. wow you got all these, look at all these major wow all, literally everything is showing is major arcana major arcana the hair font the judgment card lovers card are you kidding me right now so I'm going to tell you from, I'm trying to do it so we can see the spread. Okay, so you have the hair fine. This is someone who's possibly already married. And then for others, this is someone that you may have been married to in the past, but I'm not picking that up as much, but for a small fraction, there that is the case. But this is someone who's possibly already married and they're possibly trying to reconcile with their person because this is the judgment card, Major Arcana, bringing a situation back to life because they feel like them and this person is soulmates. So I feel like for those of you that this applies to, you may be walking away from this individual because again the fool card that's aries and also aquarius you may be once you find this out about this person 
you may be walking away from this individual and it could happen during Leo season. I felt like this was going to be a busy reading for you guys because when I heard that song, I'm like, oh shit, this is going to be a busy reading. <laughs> so let's part the deck so we can shuffle. Yeah, and I, what's interesting is I feel like, because remember I said this person with the high priestess, they could be possibly dating someone or were in a relationship with someone who was possibly a Pisces because the high priestess is Pisces. But it could be any water sign because this is also Pisces. Also, the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, also Scorpio. And it makes sense with it coming up right next to the Two of Pentacles. This person's juggling. But what's interesting is they're not facing each other. So for a great deal of you all, yes, these two individuals may be separating. Because they're literally looking in two different directions, right? So let's get our shuffle on. We're going to get two cards. One is going to be, the first one is going to be your general energy reading. And then the second is going to be your possible outcome. Let me look at that again. So for some of you guys, yeah, okay. Some of you guys, you have an earth sign coming in towards Virgo Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And some of you guys are letting the water sign go. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. Mm, okay. And, you know, anytime we see the same, yeah, somebody is being walked away from. Somebody is being walked away from. You have two of cups in reverse. And then you have, now you have the queen of pentacles in reverse. There's the, again, the, both times, the energy with the water sign. And then I'm going to tell you also, we are currently in cancer season, but we're getting ready to wrap cancer season up. Somebody could be walking away from someone during cancer season. Yeah. And with the queen of pentacles in reverse this time right next to it, I feel like it's going to be costly. It's going to be a costly separation for someone. This could be you. It doesn't have to be your new person. This could be something that you're going through also on the personal front. Absolutely. Somebody's being cut out. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's cutting out another person, possibly to move forward with you. Now, I'm going to tell you, we've seen that lover's card in the spread, right? And this is also air. The lover's card is Gemini. So for some of you guys, this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone rising, Venus, individual. You also could have met this person during Gemini season. And also Aquarius, strong Aquarius, because we did see the full card. So Gemini, Aquarius, strong energies. Strong water sign also. Air and water is what I'm seeing the most, yeah. And I said earth sign also. So some of you guys, you could be walking away from a Capricorn, or they could be walking away from a Capricorn, someone rising Venus, because the devil card is Capricorn. Also, with that devil card in reverse, let me know that somebody is no longer being deceptive, yeah. <laughs> if you were dealing with a Gemini, someone rising Venus individual, because you got the lover's card again, this person is no longer being deceptive. And if they were, I feel like they're being exposed. Because I always tell you guys, anytime I see figures with hoods on, it's hidden aspects to this person's personality. And they're not telling you the full truth about them. And then you have the lover's card in reverse. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual, this person is going to get exposed. Also, with the lover's card in reverse, they're letting go of a situation that was karmic. Because the devil, that's heavy karmic energy. And then um, the lover's card is also karmic soulmates. Strong karmic ties to someone. So it doesn't have to be that it's a Gemini, but you know, it is, this, this is the card of Gemini. So I'm also going to tell you now, mm, yeah, I'm going to tell you, I always say that with this card, you have one apple right here, right in between them. And then you see there's an arrow right in between them, forbidden fruit. You may have, you or this person may have been forbidden fruit for each other, if that makes sense. Like if you are in a relationship and you just recently met someone and you, you're still partnered with someone, you may have met someone that's making you think about leaving your partner. And then if it's not you, then you've met someone who you've made want to leave their partner. Because this is coming up right at the bottom of the deck now. Okay? So let's get your two cards. I knew this was going to be a busy reading when I heard this song. And, I don't, and the images that I've seen... And the images that I've seen in my mind, I'm like, this is going to be busy. This is going to be reached for a lot of different people. But long story short, somebody is definitely in, in <laughs> entanglement. Somebody's in a relationship where they're currently in a relationship, but they're leaving somebody for a relationship, or they're currently in a relationship, and they're still entertaining you and someone else, or you're still entertaining a current partner and someone new. I told you guys, smoke is getting clear, clear as day. Ace of Swords, that's the card of clarity, truth, knowledge, lack of deception. Because remember, we've seen that double card in reverse. You're no longer going to, nothing's going to be hidden to you anymore. 
nothing but truth. You're going to hear the 100% truth at this point. Again, strong air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yep, at the bottom of the deck. Five of Cups, one, two, three. Third party situation, but then right behind this person is Two of Cups. And you guys seen what the Two of Cups look like? That's a couple. So a third party situation is being cut out. And behind the scenes, there's possibly another relationship brewing. But again, I told you guys I seen the Four of Cups earlier. This person wants to be, they want to drop this third party situation to be with you or vice versa. But then somebody's not going to accept that offer because of the deception. So let's get a possible outcome. This is messy, Aries. <laughs> let's see. Let's get a possible outcome for Aries. Okay. That flipped out. Look at that. Again, yeah, you guys are definitely dealing with somebody with strong air sign placements in that chart. You have the king of swords in reverse. Now, I always tell you guys, sword up, that's yes. Sword down, that's no. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with mm, yeah. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign who is not being truthful about their relationship status. Most definitely clear as day. Yeah. And again, I'm gonna go back to the fact that some of you guys could have met this person during Gemini season. That was just that was literally just recent. Let's get an underlying energy. Again, yeah, you guys seen how I shuffled that just randomly. Clear as day. Like I said, this person, this I, we can't question this. Okay. This person was entertaining you and someone else. Clear as day. This person was entertaining you and someone else, or you were entertaining someone and someone else. Now, again, could be some earth sign, also can be some water sign. And this is pinnacle, so this is earth sign card, but again, we have to pay attention to everything that's in the card. You got water in the background, too. Okay? Let's part the deck so we can shuffle. Wow. Again, gonna happen in Leo season. Look at that. Strength card is walking right, is looking right in the direction of the two of pentacles so if this person hasn't made a decision i feel like it's going to happen during leo season and then also i feel like you're going to find out about this person's juggling during leo season because they're walking right towards the two of pentacles wow this is clear as day anytime you get the same cards over and over again it's a very clear message very clear message this part look at that sun card look at that oh my god and remember i kept saying this possibility that someone's pregnant this is a baby right here you can find out about somebody. I knew it was going to be so many messages in this. You, Some of you guys are going to find out that someone has someone pregnant during Leo season. Some of you guys are going to find out that you're pregnant during Leo season. So be mindful. And also, I want to say, you know, everything's getting ready to come to the light. We keep seeing the same cards over and over again. You know, the sun is the most positive and happiest card of the whole, you know, in the whole deck of tarot. But it's also about illumination. When the sun comes up, all the cloudiness, is it dissipates, you know. All the fogginess dissipates. It, you can't hide anything from the sun. You know, it, the sun illuminates everything around it. Yeah, you guys are going to find some things out about this person. And ooh and I just seen the justice card. Yeah, those karmic scales are being balanced. Look at that. And it's not going to make you happy because now you got a sun card reverse. In Leo season, you're going to find out about this. I'm going to hold it upright so you can see it. One, two, three. You're going to find out somebody has a third-party situation. There's going to be some possible arguments for some of you guys. And somebody's going to get cut out because you see how he has this um, two swords up. And then again, this is a five of swords, but he's holding two here and one here. Three third party stuff. Again, you got three people here and he's holding three swords. Somebody's going to get cut out. Because I always say sword up, yes, sword down. No, somebody's getting cut out with that sword being down. Mm, I'm so interested <laughs> to see what's going to happen in these comments because look at that. I feel like somebody, I feel like you guys may cut this person out once you find out about this third party and this person's going to try to come back for a reconciliation or vice versa. It could be you also. Yeah, this is an interesting situation. It, it's very layered, it's, you know, to fit multiple people. And I knew it was going to be busy when I first heard it. Again, judgment card in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's going to be like, no, thank you. I'll pass. Okay. Yep, some card in reverse. Mm, okay. Look at that. Seven of Wands, yeah. And you know, this is you guys, Wands, Fire Sign, Energy. Some of you guys are guarded. And I feel like with the High Priestess that we've seen in the pre-show, well, some of you guys are guarded because you feel like, you already feel like something is, is wrong. Something is a brew. Some of you guys are trusting that. Wow, okay. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Swords in reverse. Ooh, look how that flipped out. You knew that was meant to be. Okay, let me tell you guys something. <laughs> Both of your clarifiers are a card of Leo. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Also, 
because both of these are the card of Leo and both of these are major arcana. But I'm going to tell you what I'm really picking up is during Leo season, this all is going to go down and this is going to be it. Oh, some shit don't shake during Leo season, y'all. So for your main energy, you have the Ace of Swords. Like I said, some clarity is going to come in. And once that clarity is going to come in, somebody's not going to be happy. Again, the Sun card is the most happiest card and positive card in the whole deck of tarot. Somebody's going to find out some truths and they are not going to be happy with it. And it may very well have to do with the baby. You guys seen how those cards flipped out? I can't make this up at all. For your possible outcome. You have the king of swords in reverse. Again, sword up. Yes, sword down. No. Again, that's just like, you know, this person wasn't being truthful. And that's why the truth is going to come out with this ace of swords. Literally, every single card. There's four cards here on the table. The only card that's upright is the ace of swords, which is a definite that some truth is about to come out. The truth is about to come out. Everything else is in reverse, you know. So you have the king of swords in reverse, clarified by the strength card in reverse. This person also lacks the strength and the courage to come forth and tell you about the situation because they know you're going to walk away. They know you're going to cut them off. Some of you guys can also have air sign placements in your chart if you're not dealing with air sign individual, but there's a lot of air in this last spread, you know. But I feel like this person lacks strength to tell you about the situation because they're fearful that you're going to walk away. And it looks like, hell yeah, a lot of you guys are walking clean away from this situation like, you know. Especially if there's a baby involved. It, you know, a lot of you are like, no, I'm out of here. But this, this is this is clear as day. Okay, you have both of the cards. Both of the major icons for Leo here. During Leo season, is going to be busy for you guys. And you're going to find out the truth. Definitely going to have something to do. Because your first two cards from one deck is literally air sign. Again, you have four cards. Three are in reverse. The only one that's upright. Card of Clarification. And I said that this the smoke is getting ready to be cleared. And some of you guys, it's not going to be nice. I feel like you are. And it's interesting because if you really look at this card, remember I said the song that I heard was smoking me out. And these are clouds, but you see how it looks like smoke. Somebody's going to cut through all that smoke, man. And they're going to get the truth about the situation. You guys are going to get the truth about the situation. And if it applies to you and you're doing this, <sighs> At least I'm warning you that you're going to get caught. Because <laughs> this this is this is busy right here. This is busy. During Leo season, it's going to be busy for you guys. This is going to be busy. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, somebody's not going to be happy. Somebody's going to try to come back after they told the truth. They're going to... I'm also... I'm, I'm hearing that this person's a little arrogant also. Like, they feel like, okay, well, I've told you the truth. After they've lied to you for a period of time, they're going to tell you, like, oh, well, I told you the truth. Why can't we work this out? But I feel like for some of you guys, especially if there's a baby in the mix, you're going to be out of that situation. You are going to, mm -mm, you going in a different direction is what I'm picking up. As you should, because I feel like this is a new baby. This isn't like, and the baby may not even be here. The baby, this person may have someone pregnant now. Because remember I was telling you earlier, I feel like this person was already in a family situation. So I feel like something happened, they separated, and they're like immediately jumping into something else with you. Or may have already been with you for a while. I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm here three months, one, two, three. You could have been dating this person for three, possibly four months. Because some flowers, you know, that's something budding, that's something new. And a sun, that's a brand new situation that blossomed, that's blossoming and budding. So you could have possibly been with this person for three to four months, or they could have been single for three to four months, or not living with this person for three to four months is what I'm picking up. I'd love to see these comments. You guys got to let me know going into Leo season what's going on, okay? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.